All right, Knights of Apollo, what is up, guys? Hope you're doing well, and welcome back to another Rome 2 Siege Battle. This is the continuation of the TWL Siege Tournament, and guys, we've got a new matchup today. This is going to be a very exciting one because these two teams are evenly matched, and they're currently fighting for second place in Group C. So, who do we have? We have Wolfgang versus the Winged Wimsars, who are on defense. Both these teams have yet to win, and both these teams have obviously zero points. Now, that's okay. They're still in it to win it because, well, in in it, win it as in be second place because in first place, we have the Gorilla Boys and nobody's catching them. Uh, but yeah, they're fighting for second place, and it's very possible, even with as little games that they have left, they can still get just enough points to get themselves into second place. And it's going to be a photo finish for all the other teams fighting for second place in Group C. So, let's uh, let's go ahead and dive into this battle. First, before we do, I do want to say, if you want to watch all the battles of all the teams in the different groupings, there's links down to different YouTubers who are covering the different uh, groupings. And then, of course, there's a link to the Discord for this tournament where you can follow along closely, follow your favorite teams, and even join in future seasons of this tournament. So definitely check it out, guys. So let's start off here with the points. Let's see what they're fighting for. We're going to start with Wolfgang. Again, they are on attack. They're going as Gaty and Parthia. Gaty is a faction worth plus one. And then Parthia is a zero. So if they win, they'll get a total of four points because you get three points for attacking. So that's a big chunk of points. And just from this one victory, if if the wolf gang team wins here that will put them only four points away from second place from just one victory that is crazy now on defense the winged wimsars they're going with a little bit more tanky or not tanky better a little bit a little bit better faction so nabatea is a faction worth minus one and the armenians are a faction that are worth plus one so they kind of neutral each other out. So if they win here, they'll get two points. Again, it's not a lot, but it adds up. And it's it's at the point where you got to get some points here. If, for example, if the Winged Wimsars crush Wolfgang, I think Wolfgang, it's safe to say Wolfgang is out of it. I, I think that if you end up here with zero points after this matchup, you're pretty much out of the race for second place. I think that's just how it's going to be, you know? So these teams, it's kind of do or die for these teams. They got to get a victory here. It doesn't necessarily mean they got to win both games, but it just means that they got to win at least one to keep them in the race for second. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's uh, let's jump in here. And it looks like things are going to pick up here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's nice... <laughs> And I mean, I mean no offense to the Gorilla Boys, but it's nice that they got their battles out of the way quickly so we can enjoy the more competitive battles uh, for the rest of this grouping uh, because they're so good and they just dominated everyone in Group C that the matches were not super competitive. I, I noticed like some people in the comments were like, God, these battles suck. It's not competitive. Gorilla Boys are just dominating. It's like, well, what do you want me to do? Like not upload it? Be like, yeah, I'm just not going to upload this tournament battle. It's like, you won't know what happens, but just know the Gorilla Boys, they they won, all right? I mean, I'm going to upload everything from the grouping, regardless if it's a close battle or not, so you guys know, like, what's going on. So, it's just the nature of a tournament, you know? Not every battle is going to be this epic, like, you know, epic fest, you know what I mean? Like, it, there's going to be battles that are just not so close, but... Thankfully, you know, the Gorilla Boys are done and the matches will only get more competitive. So this is going to be intense. Now, from a, I guess from a, from a Crimson Chicken perspective, that being my team, I'm, I think I'm kind of rooting for Wolfgang because they, we beat them. Here's a little bit of a sally out from the Winged Sars. We got the Armenians sallying out. I think what they're trying to do is disrupt the infantry who are trying to burn down these towers. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a good little move. It's not going to, like, game-changing or anything. But uh, a nice little maneuver there. Try to slow down the attack from Wolfgang. But, yeah, I'm kind of rooting for Wolf Wolfgang. I mean, personally, I hope they both lose. You know? <laughs> I'm 
No, uh, I, I want... Uh, honestly, maybe I should want the Winged Wamsars to win here. Because if they win, they only get two points. So, anyways, it doesn't matter. The best will win. You know, when it comes down to it, the best will win. And that's who's moving on to the playoffs. So, it looks like I'm not moving on to the playoffs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, they are going to charge back out again. Amazingly enough, this unit has not lost a single man. They're still down to 160 men, but yet they've killed 38 men. That's impressive. Now, they are taking on spears, which are really crappy. Oh, oh and they're getting javies thrown at them. What is happening? Oh, no. The Hillmen just, like, exhausted all of their ammo on a wall. Look at all their shots. You can see them all right there. That's tragic. And amazingly enough, this unit didn't lose anybody. They have 160 men with 38 kills. That's a positive KD right there. Very nice start for the Winged Wimsars, if I do say so myself. And now with this wall broken down... I think he's going to use the artillery to go after the infantry. And yeah, so... Oh, yeah. They just got a good hit right there. They Oh, yeah. Look at them. They're racking up kills. They already got 41 kills with the artillery. So nice job harassing the defenders. I mean, there's not much they can do here. I would say stretch out the men very thin. You know, uh, just kind of take the shots for now. Because I see what the winged whipsaws are doing. They want to do a very close, you know very strong defense they don't want to bend at all they don't want to let the attackers come in so this is going to be intense guys going to be intense we'll see who takes us still no infantry uh that have been committed to the fight leading the way it looks like they've got a mix of hoplites and spears i wouldn't be surprised if they charge in the spears first to either one absorb projectile ammo or two just like get in their face and start the fight to prevent any projectiles being tossed from these hillmen so the the uh the hoplites can go in second and not get harassed and oh there goes more artillery oh yeah they're getting some good kills there that artillery might get close to 100 kills let's see what are they at oh yeah 84 Depending on how much ammo they have left, they might go over 100 kills, which is pretty solid. Pretty solid amount of kills. It's like, you know, you got the wall down and you're going to get some kills. That's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. And we got some mercenary axe warriors moving over to the gap. It looks like they're going to send everything through this gap. I wouldn't be surprised if they use some of these towers here. And attack the walls. I mean, all these Parthian swordsmen, you would think if they just, like, just pour it in, they would overwhelm the defenders. And then on top of that, go through the gap. And here we go. Our first infantry clash. The spears making a move. Now, right now, the balance of power is in favor of the attackers. Which is usually the case because attackers get more money. more money where's my money lebowski all right so yeah really good stuff right there and then we got um some more infantry coming in we got the hoplites let's see what they go for are they gonna go for these hillmen i think they are just to silence them and so the hoplites don't get pelted by by javies that's like their biggest weakness let's see let's see they're gonna throw they're holding fire they're not on fire at will because they would have tossed by now. Guess they want to just save their ammo. Unless they already used up their ammo. But they have zero kills. So I can't imagine they did. Unless they wasted it on like siege towers or something. There we go. Now they're on fire at will. I think. Yep. There it is. There it is. Nice. Parthia sending in some hillmen of their own to try to silence them. Here comes the hoplites. They're looking for revenge. How dare you throw some Pila at us? Or Javis, whatever. And we got some mercenary hoplites following up as well. 
they're going to come in and support the Hillmen against these armored desert hoplites. So, guys, the fight has begun. The infantry clash. And once again, it's all going to be settled right here in this part of the, uh, this part of the settlement. Impressive. Very impressive. These hoplites, they're uh, now having to deal with Nabataean swordsmen who have just been thrown into the fight. Look at this struggle. This epic struggle. Oh man, the hoplites though, what are they doing? Their flank is exposed. They might have to break Phalanx formation and reform. I don't know. It's just not looking good. Or these guys like charge in to help them or something. Both these hoplites are getting overwhelmed. Combat's even though. There we go. He's reorganizing. There we go. Nice. We got some archers opening fire. Let's see where those guys are. Oh, very nice. Parthian foot archers. Oh, yeah. That's huge. That's going to help them win that engagement. And see if the artillery still has ammo. Yes, they do. And they have 130 kills. You know, it's not like crazy. I've seen it before. But still, that's really nice. Like, whenever your artillery can get over 100 kills plus destroy a wall, that's always a good combo. Let's see, fire. Come on. Fire. Do it going for the back reserves playing it safe you know they could fire into uh these troops here but they're playing it safe they want to make sure that they uh don't get any friendly fire nice use of hillman by the winged wimsars really chipping away at these hoplites and now we have gaiti sending in more and more they got the mercenary axe warriors and now the hillmen are charging in and they're retreating the armored desert hoplites who are getting shot in the back. Look at that. They are falling back, guys. Are they are they abandoning this initial def I think they should just keep fighting for it. I know they're afraid of the archers. The archers have been a bit of a pain. Look at that. Look at this position here with these archers. Having these towers kind of protect them. And there we go. All the Parthian swords have been called off of the towers. And they're not going to attack this side. Here we go. More hillmen from the Armenians are coming in. Nabataean uh, uh, axe warriors sitting in reserve. This is a fresh unit. They've lost one man, but they have zero kills. So they must have died from like an archer or something. And there we go. They're going to use up their ammo. Classic maneuver here. There they go. Really good Javis here. Just destroying these hoplites. This guy's like, stop it. Stop throwing stuff at us and fight us. Okay, don't fight us. Yeah, I think the I think the Axe Warriors should win this engagement. Especially now that they're retreating. More infantry coming in from Parthia. They got their swords coming in. They are really committing here to this fight. Look at this guy on the a mound of dead people. Now this guy's like, I'm the king of the dead people. He's like, ah, I'm now one of the dead people. Yeah. So just like a little hill there or something. It would be kind of like pretty gnarly to like if the dead bodies actually stacked. And like the soldiers were walking over them, It'd be pretty crazy, pretty sad. Uh, so yeah, a good fight going on here, guys. Very intense. Um, but it does appear that the defenders are calling a retreat. They're reorganizing, and it looks like now they are going to hold here, here, and here. There's the next line of defense and i don't know you know part of me feels like you just got to keep fighting them for this i get they're afraid of the archers and the archers have done a lot of damage but every time i see defenders fall back to these points 
which is what me and Ruvac did on defense against the Gorilla Boys, it didn't work out. And uh, maybe maybe it's going to change here. Maybe the Winged Wimsars will change that narrative. But so far, it hasn't worked out for the defenders to kind of fall back like that. I mean, I haven't seen the defenders completely fall back. It would be interesting to see them, like, fall back to over here and here. But, yeah. Anyways. We've got Hoplites leading the defense of these choke points. Looks like these men are using their javies to try to soften them up. Come on, throw, throw, throw! Ah! Oh. Just couldn't get it off in time. Now they're taking on the Pathian, uh, Par uh, Nabataean Axe Warriors. Parthian uh, Swordsman, that is. And the question is, this is the tough part, because, like, what he could do here is, like, have his, his swords here, and then he could flank a unit of swords here, and then set up a line here, and then they would, like, kind of, like, fire from different angles. Oh, what are you doing? Interesting. Their sides are kind of exposed to the enemy. Oh, I, oh, they're getting shot by archers. That's why. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's the biggest fear. Because, like, if you turn a unit to face this and kind of support this gap, their backs are turned, or at least their, their sides are exposed, and they can get chewed up by the archers here. Very interesting. Now we got some archers closing in from Parthia. This is uh, Wolfgang. They've got the Parthian foot archers getting shot pretty hard. Let's see what they fire back at. Or nothing. Maybe they just chill there. Yeah, they're just taking shots. Interesting. It's the archers in the tree line, I believe. Now, these guys are holding fire. Who is it? Ah, it's the eastern archers. Man, why are these guys just standing here? They're getting annihilated. Uh, he's probably managing his archers over on this side. His archers have 109 kills. Good use of the archers because they get, they're getting flank fire. So really great job there. Uh, Nabatea moving up their deadly Nabataean heavy archers. to try to counter. And it is working pretty well. Oh, I see. He spread out his archers into a thin line. I like that. Trying to make it a little bit more difficult. Look at he's zigging and zagging. Trying to dodge shots. That's really good actually from Wolfgang and then he's got a fresh unit over here and uh, yeah they actually uh, push back the Nabataean really good job with the archers so nice little zigging and zagging crack a lagging back over here Gaty is really focusing a lot of their axe warriors to try to break through this initial defense. And I think with the help of the archers, they are chipping away at the defenders. Chip, chip, chip. Chipping away. We got some archers returning over here. They're down to 99. I think this is the same unit that was getting shot at before. And just kind of standing there. 27 kills. Let's see. Let's look at the archers for the defenders. Eastern archers have 26 kills. I think there's Nabataean archers in here, but they're hidden. That or they fell back over here. Oh, yeah. These guys are down to 82. Man, archer battles are just so intense in this game. Like, they're so important to your army. You just gotta... You've got to manage them correctly. If you don't, you're in big trouble. 103 kills with these archers. I just feel like... I feel like Wolfgang is out mi microing them with archers, and that's what's giving them a nice edge here. So a pretty standstill fight over here. We got troops in reserve, trying to get some shots off, trying to weaken them from afar. Come on, fire guys, fire. Get some nice kills. I got 14 kills so far. There we go. 15, 20, 21. There we go. Now they're letting loose. Lighten up. Let loose. Those jabbies. These guys have 36 kills and only lost six men. Pretty impressive. Most of those kills mostly from jabbies. 
Got some Hillman moving forward. I think he's scouting, potentially, just seeing what's up here. And yeah, there is Nabataean archers up here. And once again, he's retreated his archers behind these towers. Are they firing? No, they're just chilling. Yeah, yep, they're just chilling over there. These archers have still 103. So they're holding fire. And look at this. They just continue to chip back, chip away at the defenders. And uh, they might have a problem on their hands here soon. They might have a problem. Nabataean Axe Warriors coming in. Mixing in with the Hoplites. That's always such a good combo. A little sword mixed in with uh, sword versus Hoplite. You know, sword with Hoplites. So this has been a very, um, in terms of tactics, a very a slower paced game. We're not seeing a lot of clashing of troops really just over here. Once again, he's using some jabbies from the hillmen. Oh, that's so nasty. Looks like there is some archer fire coming in. Yep, he's firing at the flank. Let's see how many kills he's getting with these volleys. Uh, not a lot. There we go. He's getting it a little bit higher up. But notice, you see the kill count over in that square? They're at 54 kills. They got like five kills from that volley. I don't know if that's worth it. But I see what they're doing. They're trying to fire at the flank here of these men. Just trying to relieve some pressure for the infantry holding this gap. Well, let's see what's going on over here. Again, just a big skirmish match. Look at all these men focusing their ammo. Look at this. We got three units locked in here. Hillman now charging in. Oh, he, he's forcing them into phalanx formation? I don't know. I don't know. This is so back and forth over here. And both these teams just trying their best here, doing everything they can to try to win this match. It's impressive. Now we got some Axemen uh, set up here. He's gonna go into column formation and engage the Hillmen. The Hillmen are gonna counter charge. They should defeat the Hillmen here. And they are. It says combat even, but that, that should change quickly. Yeah, look at they're just sitting there getting shot. I don't know if this is a good trade. Because, yeah, sure, they're killing some of them, but... Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Oh, man, they're just sitting there taking it. I, I guess the, 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 the question is, are they getting enough out of, the, of using all that ammo on one unit? I don't know. The archers are now opening fire from the flank. 41 kills with this unit. So, very back and forth. These just two sides not not willing to uh, give up here in terms of this section here. Gaty has sent up another mercenary axe warriors unit. Hillman going in. Desert armored hoplites holding the line. Still, we got like depleted reserves that are resting up, it looks like. Look at this. Both sides just cycling in and out troops. Doing everything in their power to try to win this. Noble swords. JT now committing the Noble Swords. It's a, it's a really good unit. Yeah. 
a great fight so far. Just checking if there's any sallying out. It doesn't look like it. They still have the general just chilling here, watching for any kind of sally out. Now we got some noble swords coming in from Gatey. Gatey's going all in here. I love this like cycle maneuvers here. Very nice job. Parthian swords making their stand. Look at that. A rock in a hard place. Unstoppable force meets unmovable object, you know, whatever they say. That's what it feels like right here. Both sides just not willing to give up. Not willing to quit. Now we got these axemen, and they're just going to throw any javis anywhere possible. Anywhere they see an opening. More and more units coming in. Do we have archers back here? Oh, we got a scorpion. It's got 10 kills. I think it just started. The scorpion is just now being used. Loose. That's awesome. Run, Impressive. Move it. Here we go. Here comes some nice jabby play by these axemen. The Armenians. Winged Wamsars. Now they're going in for a charge. Trying to destroy these noble warriors or noble swords. We have 48 kills already. And here comes some archer fire. Look at that. Oh my gosh, these heavy bowmen. 128 kills. Very impressive. Good use of those bows. And they're getting a taste of their own medicine. We've got archers on this flank doing the same exact thing. So instead of the archers fighting each other, they're, they're mostly using their ammo on the infantry. And it looks like the defenders have really bolstered up their numbers here and they might possibly hold this line. Heavy Bowman, they've just used up all their ammo, 139 kills, pretty good. Now their daggers are floating, look at this. The floating daggers. Got fresh hop lights moving up. This could get this could be a great opportunity for these archers. What are they going for? It's like they're firing at the noble swordsman. And he does not like it. He's falling all the way back because he knows he doesn't want these men to get shot up. Now we got some bowmen up here. They go. They only have 64 kills, so they probably have some good amount of ammo. And now it looks like the attackers are finally going to commit to this side of the battle. This is going to be good because it's going to put pressure on the defenders in multiple places. And there we go. He's, he's committing to the fight in the center as well. I guess he's like trying to get a charge off here. I'm not sure. They're having a little chat. Cool little animation there. So this is a, a very important position because if they can break through, they can start putting pressure behind the defenses. But this is a little bit concerning over here. For the, uh, for the attackers, because it looks like the defense of the Winged Wimsars, they're holding pretty well. Then they got some archers over here as well. Let's see. It looks like they're out of ammo. They have 98 kills. I always try to get at least 100 kills with the archers, but 98's not bad. They got some good kills. Go back and get a close-up on the fight. I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on here. Like, they're... They're like close where most of them aren't fighting, but some are. Kind of strange.
Very, very intense fight, guys. We got reinforcements moving up from Gaty. Noble Swords, fresh. Yet to see any action. Oh, look at this. We got a little bit of a charge from the defenders. Putting pressure on the attackers. It looks like the attackers are kind of going defense mode here. And they're just going to focus on pushing here and here. So that's the look of it. So we might want to see if they have enough infantry, they could try to push and put pressure. But I just don't think they do. I'm looking around. They've got this unit here. They've got their scorpion still up here, or maybe not. I'm seeing a lot of dead soldiers here. Interesting. Wait, what What happened here? Oh, there was a sally out. Look at this. We have a sally out. Who did they kill? Oh, man, I did not see this coming. The Armenians have noble horse, and they've got some Nabataean noble cav. Camel cataphracts. These guys are nasty. You got to bring the camel cataphracts when you play as Parthia. They're just OP as hell. Plus, they're adorable. I mean, look at these things. So I'll keep an eye on that. Get a tactical view every once in a while. It, yeah. I mean, it's it's this is going to be a close battle, guys. The balance of power is in favor of the attackers, but it's not. Oh, look at this. Volksman. 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 Black Seed, Volksman. Volksman are really, really good at bringing down armor, but here's the thing. They're really weak to skirmish fire, and they're dropping quick. They're getting pelted to hell. And this is why the Volksmen are not very popular amongst tournament players, because at the end of the, at the, end of the day, Rome 2 is a skirmish game. And look at that. This unit's toast. Toast. Oh, man. I think they're like, screw it. Let's just absorb ammo. Wow, that sucks. Oh my gosh, dude. They're done. Just like that. And that's why, right there. Like, if you're going to bring Folksman, you got to use some very, very, like, very specific situations. They're not very versatile. So, they're definitely a late game unit. You want to use them later on when people have less ammo. But for that unit, they're done. And that might have been a huge help for the defenders. That might turn the tide there. I mean, it's just one unit, but still. God, the fight still raging on here. This is impressive. Both sides. I, I feel like Gatesy's losing patience, though. He's got a lot of units. He's kind of blobbing up a little too much here. Try to keep... I would keep one of these guys in reserve. Keep them fresh. Got some archers over here. Zero kills. Full healthy unit. So the defenders have been holding on to their ammo. Uh-oh. They're reorganizing. Oh, nice. Look at that. They're going to reorganize. They're going to let loose some javies. And they're not even going to wait. they got to keep engaging. Try to silence those javies. There you go. Woo! That was a pretty nice move there from the defenders, actually. Winged Glimsars, they're fighting it. They're fighting their hearts out, man. Wow. Impressive. Very impressive. Man, this is... I'm telling you guys, you might be thinking, you know, these other teams in Group C aren't that good. The thing is, the Gorillas are just that good. And everybody else is great. Like, in this tournament, everyone's good at this game. It's just the Gorilla Boys are, are just... You know, they're just a whole different. They're a level of their own. But everybody, like every match you play, is is a hard, is a hard victory. There's no easy victories, unless you're the Gorilla Boys. So nice little struggle, nice little fight going on there. And Parthia setting in their hillmen. They're trying to break these axemen because honestly, if they kill these axemen, there's not much here. Here we go. Now we got some Parthian swords. They should turn the tide. 
If they can break through here. Oh, wait a second. We do have some Axemen. Fresh units. Very nice. Good to see. It's going to make it's going to be a little bit more difficult for them to break through here. And once again, they're holding back with just one hoplite. They got units in reserve here. I think they've used up all their projectiles. Keeping their units fresh. Let's see if he charges in. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. Guys, that balance of power is looking pretty even. It's looking pretty even. Still anyone's game. Look at this. The Armenians are sending out their general as well. The Royal Cataphracts. Oh, no. There's archers way out of position. And they do not see it coming. Oh, no. Wow. That's pretty big right there guys that was huge oh my gosh now they're just gonna chew up these archers i don't think i don't think it's as big of a of a loss as it looks like because i think most of these archers are out of ammo anyways but still like the to kill a bunch of units like that kill a bunch of soldiers i mean they have 124 kills right now they got to get them out of there, though. We don't want to leave them in the fight. What is Nabatia doing? Like, get this general involved. They're busy. Like, get them in there. He must be microing elsewhere. Wow. Yeah, he must be focused over here. Yeah, foreman phalanx. Uh, there's a lot of infantry they got to deal with over here, and there's not a lot of defenders. They got to try to win somewhere. The defenders have to win somewhere, but it, d it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Even with that fantastic cav play from the Armenians. Armenians. Here comes the Nabataean soldiers. Finally, they're going to get their general involved. If they could kill the Parthian general, this would be huge. possible but they got to deal with this oh the, those camel cataphracts no yeah i see the armenians stayed in that fight for too long they should have gotten out of there they should have charged the archers fought for a couple seconds and then disengaged now the nabataean general is in, in danger he's gonna get surrounded here but he's chewing up that noble horse and look at now we've got gaiti's general Going over to support this cav engagement. Oh, this is like do or die right here. Oh, they might get the Parthian, so. Oh, geez, you're charging camels? Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh, dude. The camels are just so broken. They're just so OP. And now Nabatia is going in for the camels. I don't think Nabatia can, can survive that. Well, Parthia lost their general. It might affect their morale. But they have so much infantry. I don't think so. The balance of power is still in favor of the attackers. But it's still close enough to where it's anyone's game. Impressive. Now we got some archers that are going to be thrown into the fight. Archers with only 88 kills. Armored Desert Hoplites. We got, we got horse archers here? Yeah, horse archers. And the Armenians trying to harass. Well, actually, you know what? They might be able to hold here, the defenders. Get those archers firing. Like, use up that ammo. They only have five kills. Like, get it going. This is huge, guys. Here we go. Another fresh unit coming over. Wow, they just keep coming up with these units. The defenders might have a shot here. This is crazy. But let's not forget, they destroyed... 
Yeah, the Nabataean general is dead. And along with the Armenian general as well. So they do not have any generals. Which is going to greatly affect their morale. I wish they were a little bit more conservative with their, with their generals. That might keep them in the game. Now Parthia is flanking. They're going to go for these archers. See, it's tough because they can't just quickly turn and flank because their backs will be exposed to archers. Yeah, just like that. So they have been infiltrated. Now, oh. If they get this cab around, they're in big trouble. Yeah, the cab's going to run down all these archers. Maybe, unless the archers can focus their fire on this cab. Focus fire on the calf. They only have 37 men, but they don't get a single volley off. Wait, they changed targets. Oh, man. They must have not had any ammo. Parthia now fighting in the streets. Oh, jeez. There's no way they're going to have... They don't have enough to deal with these noble swords. There's no way the defenders are going to... I think for sure right now... Unless something very crazy happens. I think the winged Wimsars are going to be defeated. And Wolfgang is going to get a whopping four points. Which will put them four points away from second place. That's huge. That is huge. Yeah, that's going to be it. We're down to the last 44 seconds. A nice battle. Guys, I mean, talk about a competitive match. So back and forth. It was a grind fest, but it just came down to... I mean, really, I think it was decided officially with the Cav play out here. I think if they were able to maintain... Oh, Nabatine General is still alive. Or at least his bodyguard's still alive. Oh, well, that was short-lived. But yeah, I, I think if, they, if Parthia kept this general alive... Or not Parthia, I'm sorry. Uh, the Armenian general, if he kept them alive, charge in, charge out, it might be a different story. Let's see, how many kills does the Scorpion have? 96, not bad. There you have it, guys. That's going to wrap it up for today's battle. What a great fight. So Wolfgang gets some points on the board. They're now only one point away from us, which is really impressive. Um, so, yeah, GG to Wolfgang. Wolfgang and it's far from over there is a game two that's going to be coming out tomorrow we'll see if uh the winged Wumsars can fight back and try to get some points of their own or maybe Wolfgang will get even more points that potentially could put them into second place which is just really awesome so it's going to get competitive guys it's going to get intense hope you enjoyed this battle as much as I did look at this 133 kills with the scorpion for Gatey. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow.